There are very many aspects relevant in designing a believable social robot. Uh, it's not just the, the cognitive capabilities, the scripting, the dialogue, the understanding human beings, but also a lot of aspects go into design of the robot. People expect things from robots and expect things from technology. How can you build for, for expressiveness? How can you build a robot such that it uh, uh, sets the right level of expectations? Sometimes robots by design uh, create very high expectations, whether their performance might be low, or sometimes robots are designed in a more anonymous kind of way, which have massive capabilities. For example, if you take an owl robot, they look like a kid, they move like a kid, so you really have the tendency to project all kind of emotions or actions or capabilities to that. Uh, whereas they usually perform a pretty simple conversation script, hello, I'm now. Do you like the weather today? Whereas uh, a very simple object like uh, Amazon Echo might look pretty stupid, but it has the entire world of Google uh, speech processing uh, and it wants to sell you things. Much of the research focuses around existing platforms uh, and, and what I really like is to find out what's needed to build these kind of robots ourselves. So how can you build for expressiveness? How can you build for, for well, giving, giving the right kind of expectations? The, the Astrobot is one of these experiments that we, uh, that we took on as a kind of crazy idea and then uh, simply ask ourselves how far could we take it? So we thought, what would be the far end of this, this spectrum? So if a vacuum cleaner can persuade you to charge the batteries, can we also design a robot that can persuade you to change your beliefs? And, and this whole mixing belief or spirituality, if you like, with robots, that, that uh, a very nice kind of culture clash, at least, at least here in the Netherlands. So with this project, we try to design a believable social robot by uh, looking into experience design, robot design, and we try to tackle a far end of persuasion, which is, is, is make a robot that can change your beliefs. We decided to go for video prototyping and then we sent it out in a questionnaire to a lot of people to give feedback on that, both on uh, more performative aspects such as the fluency of the robot, but also uh, on, on uh, whether they understood the concept or what they thought of it. How can I help you? I want to know my future. Please tell me your date of birth and I will try to make a prediction for you. 23rd of August. Calculating. I think your zodiac sign is Leo. Meditation mode activated. The testing of this robot was also a, a great exploration for us because indeed uh, we are used to measuring things that we can measure in graphs and variables and real quantities rather than well more qualitative assessment like what do people think of it or does it spark a conversation. In a way Astrobot is translating this, this universal knowledge right now which is available or as a shell around the world but not the cosmos but now it's Google and Google knows everything and it's mediating between that knowledge and you as a user. So I really like this, 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 this new kind of layer uh, and it's also I guess what turns it into an artwork rather than uh, a simple interaction experiment. Right now the robot does not tell or does not communicate to you that it's simply looking up your name or your date of birth on Google and then finding this data and then giving it back as being a an universal and grand and wise and spiritual counselor. Those kind of mechanisms are all out there with every device we interact with, with every robot we interact with. So somehow we uh, have to find ways as designers to make these designs of social robots, these designs of social agents, um, honest in a way. Of course it's easy to build a robot and then show its mental models. We actually did this with Astrobot while showing what Astrobot can see, what showing what it's looking up on internet on a, on a big screen uh, at the back. Uh, but that's of course not how robots should be in, in future. You should not look at a robot and look at his brain at the same time. So somehow we need to find ways of, 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 of merging those two.